Hi all. So today we are going to look at logical software by Oka Data. So in this video we are going to look at how to create windows in the software. So let's start. So this is the home screen of the software. So you can start creating windows by creating a new project. So here is the new project function. You can click here and fill in the project details. So let's type in the project name quotation number you can write or you can just click new number new number and will auto generate here you can type in the person in charge to create the project in your office and here you'll write the client architect builder details so you can save all these client details in the address database by clicking on add and adding all the architect builder details so next time they give you an enquiry, you can just click here and it will lot of it. After this, we can press OK. So now we have come to the project center. Before that, dialog graphs for structural analysis opens. You can click on No here and close it here. So now we are here, we are going to create all the elevations. So this white background is basically your drawing board where you'll see all your elevations. Left side are all the reports and right side some special functions. So let's start. So you can start by clicking on new position here or you can click on new here and position. Or you can just right click new position. Here you can type in the window code, W1, the location and in the model description you can type in what kind of window do you want to create. So I will just create a combination window and the quantity. So I will just create 6 windows. Here in the system you will select the series. So basically I have opened this the allocate database and in this we will select the 45 DA series to create some kind of casement window. So I will select the series and press OK. So now here we will select the grid. So basically what is grid? It is the number of fields you want in width and height. So for example I will type in 1 by 1. Press OK. So this is one field in width and one field in height. I go back by pressing escape. Now here you require maybe two fields in width and one field in height. So how will it look like? Like this. So you need like basement window here and fixed window here. I go back again I add two fields in height. Press OK. Now if you see you can create bottom casement and top some top on. So this kind of window you can create. So grid is basically how many fields you have in the width and how many fields you have in the height. So now we'll mention the width like 2000. The highlighted section should be 650 mm and apply. The height should be again 2000 bottom part 1200 and apply. In this part of grid you can add field, delete field, change width and height, you can add pitches, you can make arcs, you can also add mullions, transients, you can add couplings or also create glass to glass join windows. We'll see all this later so for now we'll click on next. We can also press enter button to go next. In this element section here you will add all your typologies. So here you can see all the possible typologies in this series. So basically I want to create some kind of a opening out window, opening in window. So if you just put your cursor you can see what are the different typologies possible. So this is a tilt and turn pop up. So I want a casement window here, opening out, a fixed here top on here and a fixed here. Something like this. After this you will just select what uh, gasket do you require. If you need a drainage at the bottom 
drainage in the transom if you need a drainage cap what color the cap should be and corner connectors so i need some kind of a crimp or screw connection so i'll unscrew and the color so i have some ral colors here all here i'll select any one and silicon so this is ceiling to structure is basically the silicon you use so i need it on all four sides and i need inside and outside so i'll enter two so i need silicon inside and outside and if you need weather bar you can select here or press okay now the software is asking you if you need frame profile all around the same frame profile all around yes and you will select which frame do you require so i need this one what transom do you require what wing do you require at the casement and press save next if you need a wing for the top on what wing again save and close so now if you see the elevation is ready with all the profiles only the glass is pending so now we'll go to the glazing section here by pressing next we have come to the glazing part so here we'll add all the glasses so before adding the glasses you can check in this drop down here what kind of glasses can be added what sizes of glasses and depending on that you can create glasses so you can click here project glass and you can add the glass so i need to create a dju glass so 6 plus 12 plus 6 dju glass you can add a color to the glass and your outside thickness of the glass you can mention here here you will see all the different types of glass so i have float glass cast glass often glass PSG means toughened glass and inside glass thickness 6mm again toughened glass and spacer 12mm 12 12mm 12 and spacer type aluminum steel later you can go to the estimation and add the rate of the glass so for example you can right click here at the white section press new and you can type in the glass rate okay and save for your understanding i'll also create a single glass so i'll click on add 6 mm toughen any glass color and for single glass you have to enter the size in the inside part so i'll add 6 mm psg means toughen so do not forget for single glass you have to add in inside part Again, I can go to the estimation, right click, and the cost, and press save, and close. So in the drop down here, you will see all the classes that you have created. So now we have selected the class D2, and you will press accept, and the class will be added automatically. So you will see the bedding, gaskets are all selected. So now I will change the glass to 6mm. I'll just click here and I'll change the glass. Press accept again. If you see automatically the bedding, gasket and all gets changed. So now we have added the glass. You can click on any glass. And here at the right hand side you can see the dimensions, area, weight of the glass. Now we press next. And add the hardware. The software will guide you through each and every step, will not let you miss anything. So now it's asking you the casement window hardware, which hardware do you require? So I'll select the hinges, the handle, the color of the handle, if you need a restrictor stay arm, anti theft device, and then you press accept. Then, then next insertion if you click. So to add now the hardware for top arm, 
we'll click on next insertion and add the hinges for the top arm if you need a color to the hinge the handle and color of the handle and then you can click on accept so now if you see all the hardwares are added you can click on finish and finish the window so now we have created one typology if you want to create a similar typology you can just right click new sorry right click copy you can change any details and add the quantity you can click on modify position and change the sizes by clicking on element you can double click on the width and change it as you require double click on height and click on apply and now you've changed the height and width so click on finish and you're done with the new window creation also so now we have created some combination window let's quickly look at a sliding window again same we can click on new position type in the location sliding window and type in the quantity in the drop down of system series is you can select which series do you require so i need some kind of uh, 45 mm sliding over here from the rule package we'll select if you need a fly screen window or a normal window so i'll just need a normal window so for now i'll click this and press ok so in this type of window you cannot create combination windows from uh, this uh, method so it's directly asking you to enter the width and height you can enter the width 2000 height 2000 you don't need to add any couplings or any fields so you can just directly press next select the typology you want single glass or double glass okay what type of casket parent is required drainage no drainage in the transom drainage gap and what color similarly you need silicon yes i need and again both sides inside and outside so i press 2 you need weather bar yes i need a weather bar and you need a drainage at the bottom water collecting profile no press ok the frames are automatically assigned by the software it's asking you to add the shutter so i'll select this so where is wherever it's the question mark it's adding the shutter there so you can just select and it will add. now this is the bottom and this is the interlock position so i need some reinforced interlock so i'll select that another side i need normal let's press save close and your elevation is ready now i will go to the glazing part and add the glasses so 24 mm glass can go so i'll click on the glasses part project glass and the glasses which we had created for this project are visible here so if you see you select the double glass press accept now your glass is added press next you can add the hardware so i need the double roller you add the lock color of the lock striking plate again lock for the other side color of the lock and now accept and you can finish so now we have created a simple sliding window also so in this way you can create all the simple windows and also some combination windows also so this video is all about creating these kind of windows we will have a next video about creating libraries too thank you